Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the new Cloth Weaver 3.0 update. If you're new to this add-on, please check out the Cloth Weaver 2.0 tutorial video along with the 2.3 update. There you will also find help with creating clothing for your manual Bastion characters as well. So without further ado, let's check out the new 3.0 features. Right away you'll see we did away, I did away, all those little buttons on the different presets. Well now I have implemented a preset gallery. So we can see sort of what we're gonna be creating. So all you'll do is select the clothing item, and then hit create. So let's select the hoodie. That's a new one in this version. And you'll notice we want to scale it up, let it match our character. Make sure it goes over the edges so that way you can wrap around completely. Okay. Yeah, there's a big, big mess right there. It was a little bit of a challenge to but uh, it works, trust me. Hit put on clothing. Again, you'll want a collision modifier to your character. And select the clothing. We're gonna have to do some adjustments. That's all right. Hit sew clothing. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, I definitely wanna adjust some of these. And don't worry, as updates go on in the future, I'll be updating the presets, adding new ones. And for certain characters, you'll want to add more vertices, which once we have those adjusted to our needs, we can then hit restart simulation. Okay. Go ahead and pause it. Again, keep adjusting some things. And you can always add stiffness to certain areas, so you want to keep the point up there. I mean, by default it's not, but if you want to do that, you can. Restart. Now, of course, in the future, I'd like to see my preset gallery here go up to 20, 50, maybe 100 someday. But I'd also like your input on that as well. What kind of presets do you want? Formal wear, suits, jackets, pants? Uh, you gotta let me know these things. There's also a new translucency feature. Most clothing, as you'll notice, when you shine a light through it, or you know, light, light can pass through it, it's not transparent, but you know, it's translucent, the light comes through it. So as an example here, here the translucency is zero. And you don't want a whole lot, maybe a 1.1, 1 .1, I mean. Um, but if you were to crank it up higher, you can see that, yes, indeed, light is passing through the fabric. I have created a Patreon page to support future development of Cloth Weaver and my future add-ons. Yes, I do have others in the works, don't worry. <laughs> and this is all voluntary. But if you would like to become part of the community and help contribute to future development of Cloth Weaver, vote on new features, get access to sneak peeks on what's coming up, and even have Skype calls. If you'd like to critique your art, discuss 3D related material, do some Blender tutoring, you know, receive some feedback, you can do that as well. I will add a link to the Patreon in the description of this video, and I encourage you to check it out. And as always, I'd like to thank everybody who has downloaded and will download in the future. I never would have thought my add-on would have caught on this much. It's pretty exciting to see the community growing and ooh, hopefully something good can come out of it, right? I'm Alex and I will see you in the next update.